Growing and transporting food across the country has a major impact on the environment. Now companies say they want to reduce their footprint. As Maya Rodriguez shows us, that means that the process of growing food may soon look different. So this new type of growing is really exciting. This is Local Bounty, a company specializing in growing facilities like these and focusing on a new way of farming. Megan McGrath is director of product development. This is our butter lettuce pond. Um, we sell these as a living head as well as a cut product so you can make a salad directly. It's a year round growing operation with an output that the company says uses no pesticides and 90% less water and land than traditional farming. And this facility is a couple acres. This would be equivalent to 20 or more acres of traditional farmland. It's a critical savings in land and water that could make a difference in the coming years, not just in the drought ravaged West, but around the world. By 2050, the United Nations estimates the global population will be more than 9 billion people. The planet will need to produce 70% more food just to meet that demand. But Local Bounty says there are other environmental impacts that can also be avoided, including how most produce gets to people in the first place, often by traveling thousands of miles. By the time you get it, it's been days or weeks since it's been harvested, and you lose quality, you have a lot of loss, tremendous amount of waste, and a tremendous amount of emissions driving that produce all around the country. To mitigate that, the company says it's staying local, selling as close to where it's grown as possible. Right now, their products are in 500 stores around Montana, Idaho, Colorado, Utah, and Nevada, and other Western states. They say that can help consumers save money by providing fresher produce that reduces food waste. And many of us have that, have that moment where we go to make a salad at home, we pull out that clamshell and it's slimy. It's because it's traveled many miles, it's taken many days to get to you. And both because we're growing locally and the way that we grow is bringing that really fresh product to you that lasts longer. It's a growing industry with a $30 billion potential in the western U.S. alone. But this technology can apply to all different types of plants. Agriculture business is, is growing rapidly for exactly those reasons. So there's lots of, we, we will not be the only player in this area. We, we expect to be one of many. One of many tapping into our growing food needs. In Hamilton, Montana, I'm Maya Rodriguez for The Race. Thank you for joining us this week for our look at food in America. Join us next week. We're looking into what is really made here in America, the companies that are setting up shop in the U.S. and the benefits that communities are seeing. Until then, from Minneapolis, I'm Chris Stewart and this is The Race.